guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you a weekly message for air signs. So guys, if you are a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, this may be for you. But keep in mind it is general, so I can't touch everyone's situation, but keep what's for you, disregard the rest. But know that no matter what the cards say, no matter what has spirit has to offer us today, it's still up to you and your grassroots evolution, your active free will, the choices you make, the steps you take, and how you get the fulfillment in your life that you would like to see. So no matter, again, if you don't like the energy that's coming through, energy is fluid and can change as well. So just keep that in mind. But also keep in mind that time is fluid. So we may be picking up on a situation from your past, something that is happening now something that's currently entering into your energy field or a past life situation that you're you're living through karma with um just keep an open mind and how it applies so for all my subscribers thank you for being here it means the world and i love you from the bottom of my heart i mean it and for anyone who's new if this if this resonates at the end if you feel like it's for you please feel free and subscribe you know join the journey with me join my tribe and let me encounter your energy more often so i'm going to take a moment here just to call in archangel michael and spirit ask them to guide guard bless and protect me this reading any of you who would ask for it and to use me as the clearest channel possible for the most far reaching of you guys watching guys if you are asking your angels or guides into your life just ask that they're here for your highest good delivering the messages again in the clearest way so you can understand them i'm also going to ask my team of light to join us now and again to be giving these messages for the highest good of anyone watching so i'm going to ask a first off a message from spirit here this is the mario juge um, messages of life oracle and we're going to get an overarching um, energy to kind of be aware of or overarching guidance we got two so for this week i am a, i am light is at the bottom so the light is within me the light is around me the light protects me regardless of the negativity I may encounter I remain joyful and shine forth in all my splendor with my light I illuminate those around me I am worthy of divine of the divine within me remember that you are light right you have the ability to create um, what I'm hearing is like light and darkness and when when we have the ability to spread that out into the world so being mindful that we are the light that our light shines brightly and the more that we I'm hearing harness but nurture ourselves the more light we can spread out and emanate into the world so these guys are all like kind of gray and they remind me a little bit of zombies those of us who spread the light those of us who harness the light even you're walking into a room with other people, your light will affect them. So remembering that if you're moving through shadow period as well, to to help really move through that because once you, you kind of let the darkness go, the light is going to shine bright. The path of light was under that as well. So making decisions that you feel will keep you in the light and if you feel darkness creeping in, you can do quick little moments of asking spirit, you know, just to please protect me. Surround me in white protective light. You know, keep the negativity out and allow me to shine bright. So growing and a gift from life are two of the ones that popped out. And I feel like this is really important this week. Maybe a really important week for you to finally start seeing your growth. You may know, right? We've been growing along the journey the whole way. But it says, each day I nourish myself with the light in order to grow in divinity. Though the messages that life brings, or through the messages that life brings me, I study my inner being to improve myself in the eyes of God. I am here to learn and grow, not materially, but at my soul level. I find my balance between material and spiritual worlds, and I free myself of inner conflicts. And it's a rose here, a beautiful rose. And if you can't, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like fairy elementals helping this so as well spirit is around you also helping you grow and encouraging you to grow and what i'm feeling like is asking you to remember that as you grow to stay in the light the top was everything changes they're showing me that that as you grow as you bring forth changes in your life harnessing in more light will make sure that the movements that you go forward there for your highest good and if you're making choices for you you know you know that you're not you're not making mistakes and if you've made a choice that at the time you felt like that was the right decision and it later pans out that maybe it wasn't there was another course of action or avenue you could have went down it still was not a mistake 
was a growing experience. Okay? So a gift from life. And again, all of our challenges, all of our grievances, everything, all of the joy, all of the beauty, everything that we are offered in this world, all of our feelings and our emotions, you know, that human aspect of us, that again is a gift from life. And every single emotion, every single reaction, every single situation or person we encounter allows us to bring more opportunities for growth and light into our life. Each day, life offers me abundant proof that the universe loves me. Every day, God sends his angels to help me. Messages which seem coincidental from the worlds of others or the words that I read are gifts to help me make my way in love and maintain my divine spiritual growth. Am I listening? So sometimes I'm hearing you may get spirit nudges to go somewhere. Sometimes it's, for me, it's Value Village usually. Uh, they want me to, you know, someplace where, you know, somebody's supposed to encounter your light, your energy, your smile, if nothing else. For you to say hi to someone, maybe you spark up a little conversation while you're there, Air Science, because we all know, we like to talk. You know, you never know how you're affecting and touching other people's lives. So just stay open and remember that. So I'm going to ask a message from the Steampunk tarot now for a little tarot wisdom going into this week november 11th through the 17th please 2019 if you are encountering this later than 2019 it still may resonate thank you three fell out and the bottom is the six of cups which they're asking me to keep it and the ten of wands is at the bottom so you could be experiencing, you know, joyful reunion after something that's been really difficult to walk away. And what I'm feeling like with this Ten of Cups is she, in her staff, she holds her own light. So reunion after um, potentially times where it's been a real struggle to be the light keeper here. We have the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, confusion, this is also waiting for the right moment. This is frustrations. I feel like she's got a lot of different stuff going on in this. And if you look down, she's kind of like looking down at the people in the pitchfork. She knows where she needs to go. Maybe in the Seven of Cups, it's like with the Seven of Wands, needing to go forward, kind of seeing that there's a lot of hurdles in front of you, wanting to make the right choice, wanting to make the right decision in your own heart. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles that flew out at the bottom. So there's two tens. Okay, then this Ten of Pentacles is the happy home. This is family, children, as well as you see it, this particular deck guides you to the mystic or the tarot reader at the bottom. What is written in the cards? Because I feel like when the time is right, things come. Regardless of how in this 3D reality we want things to go, we can make our steps forward to see what we'd like, our fulfillment, but it's all in divine timing. Okay, so I'm feeling like with the Six of Cups, that was at the bottom, you know, this is definitely a situation from the past being healed. And with so many, the two sevens, the two tens, as well as 1117, we're going through November 11th, 1111 to 1117. 17, 117, 717, sevens are important numbers. And for any of you guys, um, I feel like this is a sign as well, divinely guided. Seven is about balance, rainbows, beautiful, beautiful splendor in the world, and messages from spirit. So I'm here, I'm, 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 what I'm being shown again, and I keep hearing more, is that putting down the burdens and holding your own light will move you into happiness and fulfillment in your world. And knowing that even if there's struggles or there's hardships or if there is something standing in your way still make the choices that are right for you because in the end it's your heart it's how you are going to see the world it's how you're going to experience relationships with others and how you're going to i'm hearing like give and receive love in your life if you look he's going to give it to her her hands are out so this could also be really important i'm going to get a little bit more information but this could be like a gift of life and growing that even if this if this is within partnership romantic otherwise family that we grow together through all the struggles that we we encounter together we grow together keeping this love keeping it balanced and keeping it exciting and new and this this is definitely putting down the past heartbreaks um, even though 
we don't have the cups here putting down the frustration as well with the seven of wands and the ten of wands and i really do feel like this is really harnessing our own light because the more we work on our own light the more we allow these types of relationships to come back because we've learned the lessons and again we have grown okay with the growth card remembering that every situation again we encounter is a gift from life and if you feel like you've made the wrong choices in the past this is brand new present time so I'm going to switch on to a Keeper of the Light Oracle, and then I, if I have time, I'll grab another uh, Animal Wisdom Tarot card. I'm going to ask a little bit of advice from Spirit here. Spirit, what advice do you have here for anyone who's watching about letting go of the past is what I feel like in those hardships. Thank you. And what fell out was Chernunus? which is the stag, right, and life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So with this six of cups that was here, if it was a relationship, if it was another person, um, you know, definitely our sensual powers are, are, are created. So this is things that we can touch, smell, see. It doesn't always necessarily mean it's going to be romantic. But the bottom we also have is Mahavatar, Babaji, and Soul Expansion. So, your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Everything that we pour our passion and our drive into in this physical reality helps us to grow and expands our soul. Because we, um, we each have soul contracts that we are to fulfill on this earth plane that we chose before we jumped into this body before we jumped into this incarnation in life experiences that would shape us and that would shape this person that's here following your sensuality following the things that bring you passion are going to help bring more sparks of life for you and more connections into your world that's one of the things that i'm hearing one more please spirit they really i'm going to read that book a bit for chinonis but hope was here green tara you are protected you have love is yours as well so hope 